19 minutes after 6 o'clock, Tyler, hard to believe that summer's coming to an end. Not quite yet, Andy. We still have a little while to I'm go. I'm pushing it a little bit because I like the cooler weather. That's fair. Well, if you like the cool weather, step outside this morning because it certainly feels like fall is on the way when you step outside right now. It's a bit of a chilly start this morning with temperatures in the 50s. The sun is up now here in the backyard and we have some beautiful sunrises to show you. Good morning, Wilkes-Barre. Sun just beginning to peak over the mountains and through the clouds there. And good morning to our friends in Williamsport as well. You see some nice color still left over on the sunrise. And there is some fog hanging on in the valley in Williamsport at this hour as well. The fog this morning is less widespread than it was this time yesterday, but keep in mind if you're heading out within the next few minutes, three mile visibility in Williamsport, seven miles in Lee Heighton, eight miles in Sealands Grove. So just be aware you may see some reduced visibility over the next hour or two. Temperatures are chilly out the door this morning. Lopez has been hanging on to the upper 40s this morning. We're in the lower 50s across portions of the northern tier. 51 in Wellsboro, 53 in Ridgebury, 54 in Fort and we're hanging on to the lower 50s in the Pocono Mountains as well. So it's a bit of a chilly start, although I think we'll rebound from that pretty quickly. But temperatures are still 5 to 10 degrees below average from where they were this time yesterday. And I think high temperatures will compute to about that when we get to this afternoon as well. The weather story of the day is the battle between this big surface high pressure that's keeping much, much of the eastern United States clear and calm and this upper level low pressure system that's causing just this small swirl of scattered showers here. And so for that reason, because of that low pressure, I do think we could see a couple isolated showers later on this afternoon across the northern tier. If you're headed out to the pool this afternoon, it'll be a great day for it. Partly sunny, only that spot shower chance, a high of 78 degrees and low humidity as well. So if you get out to the pool later, I'm jealous. Have a great afternoon enjoying the outdoors. High temperatures, 78 is our high for this backyard, 79 in Wilkes-Barre. I do think we'll be cooler across the northern tier with high temperatures only in the lower 70s. But for some of our southern counties and into central Pennsylvania, we may break the 80 degree mark in some locations. We'll watch that very closely for you. Lots of sunshine this morning, a few clouds around that we're waking up to. And then as we head toward two, three o'clock, that's when we see those shower chances across our far northern counties. Those will continue into later on this evening, but again, they're only the chance of a spot shower, five, 10 minutes, and then they head out of there. So I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans that you may have later on today. Wind gusts also could be picking up later on this afternoon. Just something to be aware of. Maybe a bit of a nuisance as we head toward three, four, five o'clock with winds gusting to 15 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour. And we'll have the same story with the wind gusts tomorrow as well. So it's just something to be aware of as you're getting ready for your day. August started off really warm with high temperatures in the 80s to 90s. And then within the last like middle part of last week, now high temperatures have been below average for the last few days. And we'll continue to see that mild trend of below average temperatures here in the seven day forecast. Notice that high temperatures are only around that 80 degree mark for the next few days. 83 degrees is the average high you see in this backyard for this time of year. So we'll be staying a bit below average the next few days. Only the chance of an isolated shower or storm. Nothing widespread for much of this week. Lots of sunshine, a few clouds. Then as we get toward Friday and Saturday, I'm tracking another disturbance that arrives on our doorstep that could bring some more widespread showers and storms, Andy. But even for the people who like summer, Tyler, you know, upper 70s, low 80s, they should be happy with that. Exactly. It's a, it's a happy middle ground, in my opinion. Can't lose. Tyler, thank you. Yep.